So in the last video that I published on this series, um, I spoke about how I struggle with uh, a stage fright on camera anxiety. And I can tell you that I feel a lot more comfortable that given that I published my first video and this is my second one. And, and in this one, I would like to explore why is it, uh, you know, particularly for me, um, what, what is the main reason that I experience stage fright? Um, in, you know, if, if I'm doing cotton in my own language, Urdu, I'm originally from Pakistan. Uh, so if I'm doing cotton in my own language, I'm completely fine. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a totally different person in front of the camera, I'm very natural. Uh, but when it comes to creating content in, in, in English, that's where I face um, difficulty. And, um, and, and that's why I started this series, you know, in, in the hopes that this will make me better incrementally over the next few months. So, so the reason that I feel, w one of the main reasons is that the reason that I don't experience stage fright when I'm creating content in Urdu language compared to when I'm when I'm doing it in, in English, is because um, Pakistan, that that region, Pakistan, India, and some other countries, we we used to be slaves of the British uh, back back in the 1900s, like early 1900s, and the way our educational system was designed, it was designed to ingrain an inferiority complex within South Asian people. And it's, it's extremely unfortunate that, you know, that, that this was done. But because of which, uh, South Asian inferiority complex is a real thing. You guys can look it up. You guys can Google it. So I believe a part of it comes from, you know, part of it comes from there, where when I'm creating content in, in English and I know that it's mostly Westerners who will consume my content, so it, it kind of triggers my anxieties. And, uh, and partly, so that would be one reason. Another reason would be that I, like it's, it's something new. I mentioned, I mentioned this in my last video. If you did not see it, you can watch it by clicking uh, the link over here. And um, um, part, part of the reason is that it's, I'm very new to this. And already I'm feeling a lot better. Already I'm able to sort of like, you know, uh, maintain a conversation with you guys without, without feeling the need to, or to redo it again and again. Um, um, so, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a combination of these two things. Anyone, people who are struggling with stage fright and they wanna create content, my, my best advice to them would be to do something like what I am doing. You know, create uh, sort of like uh, precise vlogs publish them, the main thing is that you publish them on YouTube so that people can see and people can give them, people can give you their feedback. And another important thing that will happen is you will get the confidence that look, you are publishing content and, and nothing is sort of like, you know, nothing bad is happening to you. I, I assure you that most of the sort of like the feedback that you will get will be good positive feedback, stuff that you can use, you can work on. And at least that's what, that's what my experience has been. Um, so that's what I would recommend, you know, just publish it. Don't try to make it perfect. Perfection is an illusion. You will never accomplish perfection. So just do the best job you can. Don't redo it over and over again. I would recommend, you know, do one or two, sh two takes at most and, um, um, you know, then publish it online and send it to your friends, ask them for feedback. Tell them what, you're, what, what you think is holding you back. Is it your accent? Is it the way you talk? Is it your, even your ethnicity, you know? Or is it like your, whatever it is that is holding you back, let them know so that they can sort of like evaluate it and let you know that if, whether that is the case or it's something else that you're dealing with. Um, like I said in, in my last video, I thought that people will not understand my English, my accent. But when I, when I sent my videos to my friends, all of them came back to me and they were like, you know, we perfectly understand what you are saying. Um, that's what helped me move beyond uh, the issues that I thought were holding me back and focus on the things that matters most, in, which in my case is the stage fright. And um, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm also gonna send this to my friend Jack, who is also a content creator. He also has the same, uh, the same struggles as I do. And I'm, I'm gonna ask Jack to, in response, publish his own video and uh, share it with me so I can give him um, my feedback. And if any of you wants to, want, you know, want to leave a comment below, I would really appreciate that. Let me know how I did. Let me know what I can do better off. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you in my next video.